Hey, everyone. Welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right, guys. So we're back to talk about, well, Vanderpump Rules a little bit, some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Lisa Vanderpump, Ariana Maddox, and all of it and more for Up and Adam Channel 2 with all of the extra coverage. Lots to talk about, lots to discuss, and that's exactly what we plan on doing. Now, before we jump into it, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also don't forget that we went live earlier today on the main channel for Hot Messy Topics. But tonight, also on the main channel, we have Anchor Watch at 11 p.m. Eastern. So go check it out. Let's um, jump right in, shall we? Okay, guys. So you know I love me some Lisa Vanderpump, Ariana Maddox, the Vanderpump Rules crew. Um, I mean. I feel like in some weird way, which it's not true in the sense that like I was never on the show or anything, but I feel like it's just like I grew up around these people and it, it's kind of weird. It was like my 20s, you know, so and now I'm so much older. I am 30, 30 years old. So my 20s are so far behind me. They're not. But they kind of are. I can never get them back. But wait, wait. All right. So thank you to Reality T. Lisa Vanderpump is explaining that she does not have time for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Hmm. I actually was pretty interested in hearing this. So as Vanderpump Rules fans prepare for season 11 to premiere, Lisa Vanderpump was answering the same old question, namely while she was walking down the red carpet, Will she ever return to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Lisa appeared on nine seasons of the show until she was convicted in the Puppygate court. Now, when the Fox Five turned on her, Lisa peaced out. The drama also ended her longtime friendship with Kyle Richards. Lisa skipped the season nine reunion and concentrated on her other projects. She didn't care. So, of course, some Beverly Hills fans, you know, long for the good old days of Diamonds, Rosé, and Swans terrorizing Kyle... According to Lisa, she has no plans to rub elbows with her former co-stars. And the messenger came in with details. She's too booked and busy for the housewives. Um, I saw a couple comments where people were like, she's not too booked and busy. She's afraid to go back. And I'm like, guys, you have to think about it. And I'm not defending anybody, but I'm like, she has an Emmy-nominated show. Okay, She has another show with Hulu, which is owned by ABC, which is fucking genius. She also has two restaurants in Vegas, and I think she's opening two more. Plus, I think that she's opening another one. I forgot where it was, but she's opening another one. Then she has Tom Tom. Then she has Sir Pump Closed and Soda Villa Blanca, if you ask her. Yeah, the woman is busy. Plus, she's a new grandma ish, newish grandma to baby Teddy. I think that the woman has a lot under her belt right now. And I wouldn't go back to, I think that when you get to a point, because some people ask, and Kelly Dodd was the one who told me this. If you have like money, like Lisa Vanderpump or Heather DeBro, why would you ever do a show like this? Why would you want to? Unless you just wanted the fame, because a lot of these women do it for the money. They do it because they need the money. Heather DeBro doesn't need that money. Lisa Vanderpump doesn't need that money. And with Lisa Vanderpump not needing that money and having successful restaurants and another show, well, now shows, she can pick and choose and be like, you know what? This doesn't serve me in the way that I was hoping for. So, no, I don't need to go back. I know that some of you guys think that I should go back because that's your opinion, but that is not something that I need to do. Boom. All right. I have two restaurants to open and two shows on the air. I don't have time to go back there. Besides Vanderpump Rules, Lisa has a new television show to apparently, I guess it's debuting this, yeah, it is, this year on Hulu called Vanderpump Villa. In the series, Lisa's staff will live and work at a fancy estate in France called Chateau Rosabelle. And the show sounds like a result of old school Vanderpump Rules and kind of below deck having a reality TV baby. It also sounds like Lisa is done entertaining a Beverly Hills return. She said, I don't want to really. I, I moved on from that. You know, I, I really have. I have. 
Now, meanwhile, season 11 of Vanderpump Rules is getting a lot of buzz. It's the first time since the cast has filmed Scandaval. Um, yeah, that led to the crazy season 10 reunion. Rachel Levis opted to not return after seeking treatment at a mental health facility, but still the season sounds promising. Complicated, emotional is what Lisa said. It's sad. It's happy. It's weird. So I think that we all agree that we're excited to see Vanderpump Rules. I'm excited to check out Vanderpump Villa, but um, I mean, honestly, if I got to make the decision, yeah, I would definitely want a return from Lisa Vanderpump on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills at some point. I just don't think that that's what we're getting. But moving on, moving on. So we also have Ariana Maddox. And she's explaining that she understands why Tom Sandoval has not moved out of their shared home. So it was in 2024, Ariana Maddox is still getting questions about her living situation with Tom. Fans of Vanderpump Rules found it peculiar that the two co-stars are continuing to live with each other despite just absolutely fucking hating each other. So after the cheating scandal, okay, one would think that Ariana would do anything in her power to get away from Tom and I think vice versa, but what people don't realize is um, that's exactly what she's doing. The two of them kept ownership over their shared home, but Tom reportedly has tried to buy Ariana out of the home, but he lowballed the offer. So now, and we talked about this a little bit, Ariana has filed a lawsuit to force the house's sale, and until a decision is made on the matter, Ariana was asked to give some updates just last week, and she's constantly being asked to give updates. And a new interview with Access Hollywood at the Vanderpump Rules season 11 premiere, Ariana was asked how she navigated living with Tom over the past year. I mean, living with him is a bit of a misconception. It's a 4,500 square foot house. There are two very separate, you know, sides of the house. It's a weird thing to navigate. Two people who bought a home together who don't have millions of dollars to just like, you know, go buy another one. Um, yeah. The interview, the interviewer then pointed out how fans have asked why Tom doesn't just move out. And Ariana said, well, rent is very expensive in Los Angeles. She also pointed out that many fans questioned why she wouldn't move. She said, I know I don't have that kind of money. So I would assume that he also doesn't have that kind of money for an expensive mortgage. And then also the expensive rent here. Financially, these are things that I understand. Hmm. So I think what they're, what they're holding out hope for here is the fact that they just well i don't even think it's they because tom is the one who's making this really difficult whereas like ariana is making this a breeze for tom so i don't know she was like you want to buy me out give me a proper offer and i guess he didn't have enough to buy her out but he also doesn't want to sell she does want to sell but it doesn't make sense that he wouldn't want to sell because she's like we're not together. And if you can't afford to buy me out, then you can't afford the house. And that is what it is. That's why she had to get an attorney involved. And somebody's going to have to pay for the attorney too. So that's why when you see the headlines saying that Ariana suing Tom Sandoval, this is exactly what we're talking about. Now, I don't want to just put this all out there and not ask your opinions. I'm curious what you guys think. But before we go, don't forget on the main channel tonight, at 11 p.m. Eastern, we have Jason and Josh going live on Anchor Watch. We have special guests joining. You guys are going to have a good time. I can't wait. And then, of course, keep your eye on the community tabs for any polls that we might have. And, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. I'm trying to think, did I miss anything? Mm, I don't think I did. All right. Love you guys. See you next time.